वेलकम बैक इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द प्रोवाइडर्स ब्लॉक इन ए डिटेल मैनर सो एज पार्ट ऑफ दिस सो वी आर एंटरिंग इन टू जीरो थ्री जीरो टू प्रोवाइडर ब्लॉक एंड एज पार्ट ऑफ द इंट्रोडक्शन वी ऑलरेडी लुकड इन टू वॉट आर टेराफॉर्म प्रोवाइडर्स एंड देन वॉट प्रोवाइडर्स डू एंड वेयर प्रोवाइडर्स रिसाइड एंड हाउ टू यूज प्रोवाइडर्स एंड देन वॉट आर प्रोवाइडर बैडजेस ओके सो नाउ वी आर डायरेक्टली एंटरिंग इन टू प्रोवाइडर requirement section right so we also discussed about this the required providers in our previous sections to we uh, we looked into local names and also source and then version information also in our introductory section okay so now we'll define the terraform block and also move on to defining the provider block and uh, implement the next steps from here on okay so let's go back to our visual studio code and in 0302 in terraform manifest folder you have two files here c1 versions.tf and then c2 vpc.tf okay so a standard best practice is to have the terraform block and provider block in a all providers means like all provider related blocks and then terraform blocks which has the version dependencies in one file named versions.tf and here the for these files i am appending c1 and c2 because it will look in a orderly manner okay configuration 1 versions.tf configuration 2 vpc.tf okay so in c1 versions.tf so we are going to add the terraform block here okay so controller command space as per your environment and then this is the terraform block inside that the first thing is again controller command space and then we are going to see the required version okay and uh, as usual tilde and then 0.14.4 or 3 whatever it is we are using the 16 one so whatever it is okay so <clears throat> i can even use 6 okay whatever i am using as on today anything above that also it will take with this respect to minor version and next is required providers and our provider is nothing but aws provider so i'll just say select the name and then provide it as aws and you can say hashicorp slash aws you can even copy paste it so i am trying to take it this way so that uh, it uh, creates a memory for us that what is present in required providers is the local name source and then version so we define these things and then our uh, terraform block is completed as of now okay so let's compare this with this one okay so hashicorp/aws and 3.0 good the next thing here is the provider block which we need to define okay so i will say again provider and which provider i am using here which is nothing but aws the local name this and then this should match and inside provider aws block what are the settings available for us okay so you can see access key alias allow count ids and all these things okay so there are many settings available here inside the provider block and uh, we are going to primarily look into one thing which is region okay so in which region my aws resources need to be provided so the first thing first is i am taking that as the first thing okay so and if you want we can even go ahead and then review the documentation also so let's go here and in the provider block we completed the us east one region so now the second thing is whatever we are doing the configuration from our local desktop and then trying to provision it to the ec2 instance you need to have the access for your aws to provision these resources right so terraform needs access to your respective cloud provider so those information you will define inside the provider okay so let's see what types of authentications are available and then what we are going to use okay so if you see here for the aws provider so we have the authentication types as static credentials environmental variables and then shared credentials configuration file and then code build and then some other stuff here okay so that these three are the main ones and if you take static credentials it is not at all recommended so what you can do with static credentials is you can provide your access key here 
and also one more is secret key okay so from where you get this access key and secret key is you go to your aws management console and go to iam right and then go to your respective user okay so i have a user called kalyan dev and you go to this credentials part and generate your access keys here okay so i have both here so i am not generating anyone here so two types means like you can only create two or oh, two instances of access keys already i used both so i am not able to create one more if i want i can delete one so first i can deactivate and then i can even delete it okay so i can copy paste this and delete this okay i deleted this okay so now i can create one more access key set here so and take that access key and copy this one here and provide this here and then also the secret access key i'll copy and provide it here so this is the static way of static credentials defining okay so this is one way of doing it so which is a hard coded way which is not recommended okay so we will not use this okay so then what we will use okay right so let's go back here and close this whatever we have created just now i'll try to leave it like that so let's uh, come back here so we discussed about the static credentials and if you want you can even use the environmental variables okay so like this you can define the environmental variable in your terminal and then use those information so that is one more option and another option is shared credential file shared credential file is nothing but using aws configure right so using aws configure you will provide your access key id and also the secret key id okay so whatever you have generated you will provide here and you will provide the default region and default output format and then you will say yes okay so i didn't change these things because it already configured for me here okay but you will configure like this and which will generate a so if you go to your dollar home slash dot aws slash credentials okay so you will find something called like this okay you will have a default profile with these information if you want you can create another profile also like uh, dev profile qa profile or some other profile okay or uh, dev aws accounts and then qa aws accounts or fraud aws accounts if you are using different different accounts for those things also you can pro uh, create different different profiles or in the same account itself with different users you want to provide different credential profiles with different permissions you can provide all those things here okay so with that said we are going to use this aws credentials config file option only okay so you can provide the profile name directly here okay so sure, shared credential file and then profile information so these informations you can provide here okay so what i am going to do here is i am going to use the profile as default i'll provide the profile name here right and i'll say like this command space and uh, our uh, control space profile and my profile name here is default okay so i'm giving it so it's an optional if you don't give also ideally it should work because by default it will reference to the default credential profile as far as i am aware of okay so now you can define this uh, profile and then that's all we are done so which means like you have created a terraform block and you have created a provider block in provider block you are telling that in which region you want to create your aws resources and also you are telling that uh, using which credentials it need to authenticate against aws apis to provision the infrastructure on the aws cloud so both things you have completed okay so with that said now let's go back here right so go back to our uh, here and you completed these things now if you want you can do a terraform init terraform validate and then terraform plan so still we didn't create any resource here but let's see what happens now okay so we'll go inside uh, 03 terraform fundamental blocks and 0302 which is provider block and inside that we have the terraform manifest folder okay and we have only two things one is c1 versions and then c2 vpc so i'll say terraform init 
okay so it will download the latest aws version here so v3.2.7 as on today and then uh, we'll see what happens okay so let it download and once it is downloaded we'll validate our files whatever is present with terraform validate command and then we'll move on to the next step so we can see it here it has downloaded the latest aws version related provider now we'll also say terraform validate okay so all the configurations were validated and then they are good okay so i'll say terraform plan to see what it does okay so no changes infrastructure is up to date because we are not creating any resources or we still didn't create any resource so far or we didn't define any configuration for a resource it is saying nothing here okay so in our next lecture we'll go ahead and then create a resource for uh, creating a vpc will create a resource in the terraform configuration files and then execute the same commands and then see how it looks so i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye bye thank you